Did you know the moon has quakes too? They're called moon quakes, and they've been shaking things up ever since Apollo? What? Missions first detected them in the 1960s. But that doesn't mean the moon is tectonically active like Earth. In fact, it's just the opposite. Plate tectonics is what makes Earth quakes. And the moon doesn't have active tectonic plates. So what's going on? Well, about 40% of moon quakes are caused by tidal forces from Earth. You know how Earth has tides? Well, the moon does too. Because Earth is so massive, its gravity pulls on the moon, making it bulge out a bit on the side facing us, and a bit on the far side as well. This tidal bulge is slightly closer to the center of the moon than Earth is, and it wobbles as the moon rotates. That wobbling makes a kind of quake that can register as a 3 or 4 on the Richter scale. And sometimes the wobbling gets stuck, and then it releases all at once. And that releases energy in the form of a shock wave that can make the ground shake for 10 minutes or more. About 40% of moonquakes are also caused by thermal expansion. The sunlight that hits the moon's surface during the day heats it up and expands as it does. That expansion makes the ground on the moon's crust push outwards. But it can't get any higher because there's no atmosphere to push against. So instead, it pushes sideways, which creates quakes. These usually register as a 2 or 3 on the Richter scale and only last for a few hours. The remaining 20% of moonquakes are probably caused by meteorite impacts or deep interior activity. Now, meteorite impacts are pretty easy to track with satellites, so scientists know that some of the moon's quakes come from space rocks crashing into the surface. But what about the deep interior quakes? Scientists think they might have something to do with the cooling moon's core, but they aren't sure yet. Now, these moonquakes can be surprisingly strong. Some of the quakes caused by Earth's tidal forces can reach a magnitude of 5.5 on the Richter scale, and that's strong enough to be dangerous. If we want to build a base on the moon, we'll need to make sure that it can withstand moonquakes. That might mean using shock absorbers, drilling deep foundations, or using flexible building materials. No one's sure yet. NASA's Artemis program is already thinking about this problem as they design lunar habitats for future astronauts. Artemis is also going to deploy a seismometer to the moon to collect data about moonquakes. The more data we have, the better we can prepare for when humans move in. So living on the moon won't just be about air and food, it will be about the moon moving under our feet too. And that's why science is so cool. It's not just about dreaming, it's about solving problems before they happen. This is Science with DJ. And if you want to see more of me, you can follow me for Daily Space and Science Explained.